What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode here on Man-Made Customs. So today we're here in Florida. We're going after Snook and Tarpon. I'm here with uh, Sebastian from Florida Bassmaster and we're gonna see if we can get some action today. Stay tuned guys and hope you enjoy. Holy shit. That's a 20 pounder, dude. It's a bonder. Nice. Look at that guys, juvenile tarpon on the voodoo shrimp, getting that, look at that, one last look at that beautiful fish, look at that, beautiful, beautiful fish, I'm just gonna hooked up to him, didn't even know, made a cast right under that mangrove branch over there, and he thumped it. Barely hooked. Launch it. Later, buddy. Oh, yeah. Looks like a snook. Oh, wait. Alright guys, so we got a little snook here shortly after catching a few tarpon. We're fishing a little a little canal that seems to be half uh, freshwater, half salt water. We got levee systems all, all around these areas and they regulate how much salt water and how much fresh water they throw in here. So for the most part you're gonna see fish that could breathe both salt and fresh water in these parts. But yeah, nice little snook guys. Alright guys, so I just caught a nice little tarpon on the voodoo shrimp. There it is right there. Beautiful little guy. No marina pets needed. <laughs> Look at that on the voodoo shrimp. Munched it. Look at that. Beautiful little guy. Quality sardine. All right guys, so we just got back from tarpon fishing earlier today. So for the most part, what we were using our uh, artificial shrimps. Um, I was using a DOA. The thing with the DOA is they don't really sink as rapidly, so you kind of toss it and you gotta wait at least five or 10 seconds before it actually reaches the bottom and then you can jig it up. Um, there's these other shrimps that we were catching them on called voodoo shrimps. The voodoo shrimps have a weight right on the front of it and, it's and the tail's really hinged. So we'll just cast the voodoo shrimp by the mangroves jig it on the way down and more likely than not a, a tarpon would hit it. Uh, I caught the snook in that video on the DOA shrimp, kind of did the same thing, let it sink uh, and as it was sinking I just kind of jigged it and you know before you know what he hit. So that was you know this part of the video. Uh, we wanted to go to the Everglades tonight 
uh, and see if we could get onto uh, some bullfrogs, maybe some snakes. The weather conditions are actually kind of right for it right now, so we're thinking about heading out there uh, and just adding it onto this video. All right, guys, what's up? So you guys probably haven't seen my face very often with a formal introduction. My name's Nico. I'm usually on the other side of the camera, but today's episode, we're going to be out here in the Everglades, and uh, we're going to be doing some some herping. The term herping is uh, it's basically when you go out, catch reptiles, take pictures, whatever it is that you want to do with them. And actually, right now, we just came across here a little baby. I want to say it is a green water snake, actually. Not a cotton mouth? Nope, this is not a cotton mouth. All right, so this here's a little better of an angle. See the bottom part there? It's nice and healthy. I don't know if you can see the that kind of shimmer that they have going on there. And these guys, actually, what they'll do is, I don't know if you can smell it. He just sprays a musk whenever he's doing that. And uh, it's not the most pleasant smell out there. <laughs> but yeah, so here we got a water snake. Nice, We're gonna go ahead and let him go. He's all coiled up. Getting ready to... Wow, look how cool he blends in with the, with the grass. All right guys, so that's a bullfrog for you. Check that out. It's a good sized bullfrog. People eat their legs, right? Yeah, pretty good tasting to be honest. Wow. Got some solid legs on him. <laughs> He's a bubble. Webbed feet too. These guys do a lot of swimming. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this season for them? Or people just come out here? I think you can kind of just get them whenever you want to be honest. That's definitely a bullfrog too? Yeah, this is 100% a bullfrog. So bushy. You can see here, it's not a lot of the meat, like meat. back legs yeah. here, yeah. You can see why people go crazy for that. Pretty good tasting too, honestly. Relatable to chicken? Eh, it's a little on the drier side, to be honest. Catch cook? Catch cook? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> 